overall, and we, we're seeing him uh, bring Resurgence back to his uh, roots uh, yeah. with this uh, newly refound character. Uh, character obviously pretty buffed uh, compared to previous iteration. Of course, Smash Four Wii U. No so way. The character. Uh, <laughs> no <laughs> way. Oh my god. Okay. I, I oh guess my we'll god. Just get it All right. This is gonna be so hard to do because they're doing the yellow and the green. Like, look at that difference. Like, there's yeah. barely any. And then there, of course, there's no indication of Pikmin differences. So this is gonna be fun to commentate right now. Yeah, I was gonna say this is uh, the only way I can tell is by the player attacks. But even then, they disappear like in the situation where you can't really see them. But uh, I can tell right now, Rich is going to be the green Olimar, and of course, HB2 is going to be the regular pick Olimar. Yeah, HB, or, or excuse me, R RB. <laughs> Rich Brown already getting a really good um, offstage sequence mm -hmm. there, getting 81% off of that, getting a couple of back airs, and just no recognizing that because of Olimar's uh, slow fall to the ground, he's able to get a couple of back airs in and get some extra damage. Yeah. Honestly, the Ditto is something I've never seen before, so this is kind of striking me as an entirely new thing. I feel like just from the sheer number of characters, getting a Ditto is even more rare than before. Yeah, but definitely. This, but this is happening right here, and already Rich Brown taking that stock with a forward smash, I believe. And look at that grab range right there. Gonna go ahead and try and extend his lead a bit. Okay, Rich able to get back onto the stage, sets up the Pikmin here. One thing that I feel that Rich is gonna want to do in this Ditto here is how much stage control can I get? As soon as possible, right? Because if my opponent has more stage control, even in the Ditto, right? That's the, that's the goal, right? Who is able to use the character to certain lengths, especially on the stage? For for Rich Brown here, I feel like he wants to have the stage more to himself than HB2 is. And then read the, the options here. Pretty much punish landings. That's what he wants. Mm -hmm. I think right now Rich Brown is doing a better job of keeping up his defense as opposed to HB. HB mm -hmm. usually picks the wrong options like he'll air dodge to the ground or he'll air dodge left and right trying to avoid like some nasty follow. So Rich Brown is very content to wait and then find his follow-ups where they're necessary uh, yeah. to be able to extend his lead. Right now he still hasn't lost his stock and already HB at 66%. That's pretty significant uh, considering how light this character is and how easily the character can rack up damage too. Mm -hmm. All right, well, so far, Rich has an opportunity here at the edge guard phase. He's trying to go for the back air, but HB2 slips in. It's going to be a tough call for Rich, but now he's able to land, and there's the landing. Like I said, punishing landings here. When you hold the stage, you kind of understand how all of them are recovered, so you're able to figure out the right punishment for the right moment there. And HB2 is not going to miss that chance. Yep, jump fair. That's going to go ahead and get a lot of damage using that purple Pikmin. Let's see what the ledge option is going to be, using that pressure with the forward smashes. Oh, I felt like he could have possibly Tomahawk grabbed there, but in the middle of trying to probably read a back air, or again, a Bob Shane, he didn't, he didn't get that one. Mm -hmm. He kind of caught the tempo of how he was doing his back airs, mm -hmm. and before he could change it to try and condition something, uh, HB was able to make it back on. Still, though, significant lead for Rich Brown, Ooh. and just like that, another forward smash. Using the yellow Pikmin this time, that's going to keep Rich Brown in pretty nice lead right now. Yeah, two stock lead, 85%, climbing a little higher though. HB2 looking for an opportunity at this point. Sends yellow versus yellow Pikmin out to the fray. Uh, both these two trying to get offense going. I like that, just calling out that jump over. I feel yeah. like Rich Brown was trying to extend the reversal option there, but wasn't quite able to find an HB. was able to extend his damage a little bit further. Ooh. And one more F smash. Still not enough yellow, not as much firepower as uh, the other Pikmin. Nice card face for HB2, and he reads the landing. This is what it comes down to, right? The landing that you get from, from Pikmin. I'm sorry, from Olimar. You can even tell, though, as we saw earlier, Rich Brown trying to go for a cross-up, but this damage is so big against HB2. Throws away the comeback opportunities here, and it's pretty big deficit right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in this game especially, the, the melee moves, uh, like your normals and stuff like that, can extend to combos much better than throws can, mm -hmm. as opposed to in, in Smash 4. So we saw like a little down throw, to, or excuse me, down tilt to fair string going on, getting 85%. And he had a really nice lineup with the purple and the red pigments. Exactly. So that extended a lot more damage too. The and lineup, honestly, like you said, right, crucial thing here, especially in the ditto, right, who has the better lineup against whom? So far, Rich Brown is benefiting. HP2 having a tough time right here at the ledge, back at the situation there. But we're rich fine here at the edge guard phase. HB2 just trying to sneak by. Uh, kind of a war of Pikmin here, just tossing each other, but he gets the grab in the end. Rich Brown moving up 1 0. Oh. I feel like Rich Brown was keeping careful count of which Pikmin was it. He had a purple, uh, a blue, and I think a yellow in there. Yeah. And so he kept throwing out uh, with F smashes the blues and the yellows and the purples. Uh, and then finally, when he found that he had the blue and that. Um, HP was not going to be moving a lot, and yeah. he decided, okay, this time I'm going to get a throw, I'm going to get that up throw, clean out the stock. Alright, well, we'll be game two for HP2. Uh, one thing to note for him, too, is Rich, like you said, had a lot of good Pikmin management, but also punishing on landings. That's one thing HP2 is going to have to be careful when choosing a stage here. Uh, what stage do they want to go for? Obviously, it'll be the same, but a little bit of download for HP2. Hopefully, he kind of sees how, how Rich Brown played that first game there. Yeah, we're going to have to see. 
Okay, we're going to smash roll this time around. A little bit of a smaller stage that's going to allow for more close combat interactions. Mm -hmm. And already, both of them <laughs> destroying each other's Pikmin. The reds are already gone. We're back to yellows and blues right here. Yeah, it's going to be hitting each other's Pikmin. I feel like they're uh, respecting each other's range a little bit more ironically on the smaller stage here. <laughs> I mean, you kind of have to, right? We kind of saw how, like, the range went by everybody just tossing Pikmin at each other, trying to get one latched on. But yep. So far, Rich Brown getting pretty big victory as soon as the Pikmin got latched on in HB2. We'll have to see, though. Uh, pretty close uh, so far in the beginning. I don't think either of these two are really getting anything down. I like that the armor, of course, that is still an option here, using the down B armor to get through some combos and keep your survivability up. And I like that spot dodge, too. Mm -hmm. HB2 gets the up smash. Now Rich Brown just trying to land on the stage. Will HB2 find him at the edge guard face? Sets up the down smash. That Pikmin was attached to him. All right, that time did oh. a landing nair mix up. Oh, but still got caught at the end there. Uh, Rich Brown able to get a solid four smash there to seal out the stock. Oh, I like that. Goes for the down throw and immediately gets to try to get for a tech chase there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that down smash also was able to cover. Oh, okay, oh, that's okay. unfortunate. Not quite sure what happened there. I it looked like he was about to make it back and then he just kind of fell to the ground. Right, Rich Brown continuing his lead. Oh my gosh, already 85%. Still going on. Try to extend it a little bit further, but HB had the higher ground there. Let's see how he's going to catch that landing. Oh, nope. Not able to get on the platform there. Just an inch off. Yeah, a little bit unfortunate. HB basically cannot take any more hits right now. Yeah. Uh, if he wants to try. Oh, there's an air dodge, and that's it. That's a three stock for Rich Brown on game two. Yeah. A little bit unfortunate. A couple air, uh, mistakes there off stage.